Uncle Drew's Kitchen is in the house, yo. Boom. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Uncle Drew's Kitchen. Tonight is chicken fajita night. Let's get started. Boom. Nice skills. Sharpen that knife first. Pepper. Angle down. That's going to be the flattest side of your pepper. Right across. We get to avoid all the inside seeds when we do something like this. I got that as a little trick from another highly acclaimed chef. I'm not saying that I'm a highly acclaimed chef, but it makes things a lot easier. Remember your knife skills at all times. This is the guiding light, orange pepper. Now onto our red onion. This is gonna help balance out. Control the onion, you are the boss in your kitchen. Turn it down. Turn it down again. We've got to have some garlic. So let's get this going too. Smash. Smash. Dice. Okay, next up, let's get to work. We're just gonna pat down our chicken, dry it out a little bit. Once we've done that, let's set it aside. We're gonna mix up some spices. Starting out with some cornstarch. We're gonna add in some salt and pepper. Garlic and onion powder. Boom. Ah, uh, this one, tough one to pronounce here. We've got cayenne pepper, paprika, and cumin. Boom. Let's give it all a little whisk right now. Let's get that together. What time is it? It's time time. Pull off a few of those. We'll get some thyme in there, some fresh thyme. Always tastes really good. One more. Oh, I can already smell that flavor coming through. Really good. Oh, there's one more. Okay, so for my recipe tonight, I'm using five chicken breast. Now I am gonna fillet this. Some would say butterfly. We'll go butterfly with that one. It's gonna help the cooking process go a little bit faster. So let's get a nice thin slice. Open that up really nice. We're gonna lay them flat in our tray. It's gonna taste delicious. All right, we've got all of our chicken laid out flat. Our seasoning, everything. Now let's flip it over as well. I wanna get both sides. And make sure our chicken is really well coated here because this is gonna be some really good, really good flavor. Yeah, it's looking fantastic. And we'll get it all in. Very good. Now let's make sure we pat all of this down so it absorbs all of our different spices in here. Okay, we're spiced up. Let's get over to the stove. Always a wait. There's that sizzle, that's what we wanna hear. In the pan it goes. Remember, once it gets in there, let's just try not to touch it. We'll add one more tonight, and we'll be able to put the remainder in the fridge for our next meal. Okay, good. We're gonna cook this for about three, three and a half minutes per side. If you need to use the Google Home Assistant to set a timer, do it. Whatever makes things easier for you. Pay attention to the perimeter color. As it's changing to white, you'll know it's getting time to turn. A good little trick there. Let's flip. Look at that. Excellent color. Look at that. Great golden brown color. I like that. You're hearing that nice sear. Great. Okay. Let's get our vegetables started. I'm going to add two tablespoonfuls right now of lime juice. To our chicken, and because I love lime, I'm going to add in a third. Okay, our chicken's done. I'm going to pull this out and rest for a little bit. 
This smells delicious. That extra kick of lime at the end was just an excellent, excellent add-on. Oh, there. Look at that. Leave our chicken rest. Looking really good. Olive oil on. Get all that goodness in there. Now our vegetables, we're just going to season a little bit. Salt and pepper. Shake, shake, shake. A little bit of pepper and salt. Now we don't want our vegetables to be soggy. It's just a nice little crispness to them. Okay. You can always try and push away and pull back and give a little flip. Boom! Vegetables as well. Looking really good. These smell delicious. Nice. Our fajita night is almost underway. I almost created a cardinal sin there and took my eyes off my knife while I was slicing. That would have been rookie mistake 101 in the kitchen. I have a feeling whoever's coming over to eat tonight are going to be extremely hungry for these. Boom! Okay, chicken, done. Assembly is just so fun. Imagine yourself at your favorite burrito place, looking to make your favorite bowl or your favorite burrito, and you get to choose and you get to create everything that goes into your bowl or your burrito. You are the CEO in your kitchen. Create your short masterpiece. This is your time to create your masterpiece. There is no line. Add those delicious ingredients that you love. Imagine yourself looking through that little glass window and creating your bowl or your burrito, and you're going to enjoy this, and so is your audience. Take pride in your creations. You are a master chef. You may remember this guacamole. Boom! It's back in play, day two. Boom! Add a little touch of our guacamole. This has that lime flavor that's gonna come out as well in our chicken. We'll finish with some cheese on top. Everyone likes that cheese and a little bit of our special salsa. Not too much salsa. We like to say salsa, salsa. And then we add in the final touch, a little droplet of our sour cream. Good, that goes aside, I'll set everything aside. Now, are we master wrappers on our fajita? Fold up. Fold up, sideways, over, over, and as you would see in the stores, tuck, and then roll, and then roll again. Good. Oh, this looks delicious. This looks fantastic. Uncle Drew's kitchen is in the house, yo. Boom. I cannot emphasize this enough. You are the CEO or master chef in your kitchen. Enjoy what you create. It's your time to shine. Make it delicious and enjoy it. Okay, everybody, that's it. Chicken fajita night is ready to go. If you really like what you saw, give this recipe a try. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button right now. Like it, share it with your friends. But now it's time for the feast. Let's get in this and see how it tastes today. Oh, this is going to be really good, I think. Let's just see, is it as good as... Watch my eyes, that'll... Mm. Beep! Eat your heart out. I need to cut the camera and finish this off, because this tastes really good. We'll see you next time.